example, we're going to solve the following equation, and this is a negative pi to pi interval, so be careful of where we're going to find it, of 3 cosine 2x plus 2 minus cosine x. Now, one of the biggest things I recognize is that I have two different angles here. And I, in order to solve this scenario, i got to make them the same angle. And so this is double, and so I'm going to be using my double angle identity for cosine. This is from the formula booklet. And so what I notice, I have three different versions. If I choose this one, all my values we put into just pure cosine. I don't have to worry about sines at all. So I just plug it in. So I go 3, 2 cosine squared x minus 1 plus 2 minus cosine x is 0. I'm just working through the algebra now. Mm. Minus 3 plus 2 will be minus 1 minus cosine x. And so what often happens when we work with identities and trigonometry is they often work themselves into a quadratic. As we can see, it's a cos squared and a cos. So I have to factor it. I know this is going to be 1 and 1, and probably a 2 cosine x and a 3 cosine x. And this one here will be negative positive equal to 0. And so cosine x is equal to 1 positive over 2. And cosine x equal to minus 1 over 3. So looking at this, I know this is one of my nice ones. And so my reference angle is pi by 3. And it's in going to be in, hmm, and go 0 to pi, which is over here. It's in this region, but it's also going to be in this direction here as well. But those are the negatives. So this one only gives me 1. I need to now find these ones here. And I'm going to get in this region a negative pi by 3. And now the cosine is going to be over here somewhere and over here for the negative 1 third. That's not a special angle. So I'm going to use my calculator to help me out here. And so what I'm going to easily do is I'm going to graph cosine x and negative and divide by 3. I'm going to set my window to go from negative pi, oh, pi to pi. And keep that 1. I know it's the y value will just go from 1, oh, negative 1 <coughs> to 1, and that should be sufficient. I graph it. Here's my cosine curve coming, and these will be my negative 1 thirds. Here's this. So I'm going to find the intersection. Oh, mm, one too many. Okay, and so my one value will be 1.91. x equals 1.91. And the other value will be, just based upon the symmetry of cosine, I know it's going to be negative 1.91. That will be uh, the other value to three significant figures. Doesn't say I can't use my calculator, so I used some trigonometry, the identities, and some of the exact values, and then my calculator. I could have gone straight to my calculator and done this graphically, and I would have gotten my three answers as well.